Hello and welcome to this geostabilization breakdown. In this class we're gonna take a look on how to stabilize the bus to reanimate and retrack it into the another shot. Pretty complex stuff, huh? But I can already say that this won't be always possible. This very depends on the lighting conditions and color. And of course you will have to do a lot of cleanup and color work to pull off such integration. Alright, so here I am in the source shot from which I will take the bus. This is one of the shots that came uh, for us to clean up. The task was to remove this car out of the shot and remove the distant car. So this was the initial task of this shot, uh, which we've uh, successfully completed with my ex-girlfriend. Yeah, you heard that right. And this is the second shot. All right, why can't I see it? In which they uh, wanted to at the bus they uh, started to think how to render it how to shade it and all that crazy stuff and instead of rendering and shading it because i'm compositor i started to think how to warp it and map it inside of this shot out of another shot and this is basically what i did so uh Let's start from the source shot from which we are taking the bus. So before we can take something out of it, we of course should complete the cleanup, um, which includes removing this car, which for some reason is behind the bus. So first, the distant cars. The distant cars are easy. They are just uh, tracked with the point tracker somewhere in the distance there with rotation and then you just cut them out with a clean plate very simple and now they are gone so this crazy setup is the way we've added grain on top it's not the way i'm teaching you to add grain because this is a little bit pixel fucking way you know you can always subtract the degrained footage from the source and get the original grain to plus it back on top. And if something looks odd, you can change it with Rotopane as easy as this. So let's move on. So distant cars are removed. Now we have to remove the front car. So let's see how we are doing this. We are creating this clean plate of the background here. So by Rotopainting it and taking different clean plates of it yeah mostly clean plates just a little bit of rotor paint somewhere here just a little bit is enough now we've got the clean plate here and we also are cleaning up the bus and this is a little bit more complex because we had to track the bus and put the rotor painted clean up on it so the wheels are done separately because they are on the different depth and if we will take the tracker we can see that that we are tracking the lights on the bus because they are most trackable things on it and then we are uh, adding the depth corrections with the simple transform nodes animated manually yeah so uh, here comes the main part of the bus all right it is just taken from the frame in which we can see everything so a little bit enhanced lights and then we are cutting it out and grid warping it animated grid warp to match the perspective which is changing always because this is just a frame hold and it won't work if you just put it on the trackers the bus is always changing its depth as it moves and this whole thing is parallaxing yeah so this parallax you were seeing in the final render was done entirely by hand with grid warps and transforms so that's how it looks like there's a little piece of wheel there also helping to put everything together yeah clean plate mask what is this yeah this is a mask that is used to cover the car let's see it in the mainstream here yeah so first we cover the car with this clean plate mask which is covering exactly the car and then we are merging this part of the bus on top of everything here to cover this part of the car that is projected on it like that all right also we have uh, the shadow here which is restored there were no shadow there behind the car and we are 
redrawing it here with masks like that so animated tracked masks with different intensity grained and then put in under the bus yeah that's how it is done yeah a little bit enhancement of the shadow here in the places where it is needed yeah usually this kind of 2d enhancements are done by my ex-girlfriend and this really makes this shot completed great work Paulina. all right so now what we do now now we track this bus with geo tracker and i won't show how to track with geo tracker in this class because Unfortunately, I don't have it on this machine, and if you want to learn how to track with GeoTracker, I've done like the best GeoTracking course ever made. Everything you need to know about GeoTracking in Nuke. So if we start from the source footage here, the first thing we do is add the posters on walls, pretty simple. So tracked with mocha surfaces and craned, so as easy as this, and then add it onto the wall. And then we are getting to our bus. So first we are rotoscoping it out uh, with trackers and rotos promoting it and as uh, the insides of uh, the bus look kinda the way they should look like if we put it into this shot cause the walls are similar it will work as we will warp it inside of the shot so first we uh, take the tracked camera all right, so I cleaned up the setup here a little bit so that it will be more comprehensible. Uh, we have the tracked camera here, which is the camera output and out of the geo tracker as we've tracked this bus with the cube. So I've just took the cube, took the geo tracker. Like, it doesn't matter which camera I will take here. I'm just showing you the idea. And I've positioned the cube here for the geo tracker and I've geo tracked this bus here. That's basically what I did here. Until I've got the output of the geo tracker, which was the transform geo of the cube and the tracked camera. So uh, I've used the tracked camera instead of transform geo to project uh, the texture on the bus like that. So the camera moves relatively to the geometry instead of geometry. So it is the other way around, not geometry moves in front of the static camera, but the camera moves in front of the geometry. But you see the, the frame is static. And as the camera moves uh, relatively to the geometry, it projects the same texture on the static geometry and we can freeze it on any frame to get it stabilized on the geometry on any frame we want. So if we take like frame 45 here, you can see that the bus stays on the same frame as what we actually see here is this static geometry, but this uh, stabilizing camera is projecting it according to the bus movement so that we are getting this stabilized bus on any frame we want. Yeah, and you can see if that we are not getting the whole picture here unless we go to the frame 44 or 45 when the bus is fully visible because before that the bus is cut on by the edge of the frame here and we don't have the information to map uh, on this geometry here and geometry is pretty simple it's just a box which is a little bit modeled here according to the bus edges and cylinders for the wheels and a little card here at the very end to uh, map this mirror of it yeah that's how it is done so here comes the corrections with grid warps and a lot of 2D corrections that you can easily do on top of uh, this stabilized footage as it is not needed to track anything here as we've stabilized everything and we can do whatever we want with it. The one major thing we are doing here is uh, uh, changing the way the wheels are rotated as it was not enough to just map the same wheels on the cylinders it was needed 
to make them a little bit more rotated and then I'm just merging them back here, rotoscoping these edges here and changing them this way. So 2D corrections, just 2D corrections that are easily to be done in this stabilized footage. And here comes another fun part. This same geometry, you can see that it is cloned here, but it is constrained to the movement that is just a manual animation. This whole geometry, this projection and geometry, in this case, this, this projection, with geometry will move through the tunnel as we are moving forward in this tunnel and we need the bus to also ride forward and instead of constraining it to the camera movement this would be kind of unnatural if the bus will move exactly with the camera we are animating it inside of the tunnel so that in 3d this box with its camera that is projecting the texture on it is moving forward like that and the camera 7 is uh, the actual tracked camera output and out of Buju, which is tracked inside of this shot the solved camera of this shot and moves approximately with the same speed you know inside of this tunnel forward and we are animating this bus here with this manual animation. I will open the curve editor, you can see that this is just manual animation of the bus. As simple as this. Alright, so <laughs> another way I can show it to you is if we look to the final render and I can take this axis and I can literally move the bus inside of the tunnel because it is all constrained, it's all linked, animated with axis so that we will be able to uh, connect the camera to it and the transform geonodes that are moving the actual geometry and the camera is moving the same way and projecting the texture on this geometry that's how it is done so i can just move it like that so you can see that it will move the whole bus now yeah that's how it works and as it is mapped to the geometry you can see that it is uh trying to you know, show you the right angle of this geometry, but there are some kind of 2D corrections that are quickly been made on top to, <laughs> you know, hit the deadline with the completed shot, and they are not constrained to this 3D setup. And if I move it to the right, it will also work, and it, if I will move it to the front, it will also work. Doesn't matter where I move it. It parallaxes the prop in the proper way, because it is all the projection on which I was talking about. So here I kind of have a lot of time offsets, that's why here you kind of have to look into the frame after 35. I'm sorry for this kind of organization guys again, this is a little bit old script, but I find it interesting and I find that there is something to learn from here, so that's why I'm showing it to you. So we have also a shadow here which is uh, mapped on the card under the bus and this is the 2D texture of it, so this is a separately drawn alpha here animated the way we need so there's some kind of shadows moving there so this is the shadow of the bus that is applied on the card which is put on under the bus and animated the same way as everything so this is the card of the shadow under the bus there and you can see this whole setup moves through the tunnel here yeah i find it pretty cool i may want to do an FX PhD course about it. Yeah, so uh, the shadow is put on under the bus here. Some of the wheels are put on manually under the bus here with tracker. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of corrections that Paulina does in the very deadline when she wants everything to look perfect, throws more stuff into the script. And that's basically it. So there's a little bit more corrections here with 2D trackers. Let's see what it is. Yeah, I remember what this is. This is the exhaust pipe that is animated manually as it just didn't want to be properly tracked as it is on completely different depth. It is so small that I hoped that the geo tracker will track it, but no, no, it wasn't possible to do with geo tracker so uh, it was manually uh, warped here with transformed corner and put on, on top so an old version here this is how it looked like when i tried to uh, map it with the geo tracker you see it kind of <laughs> you know <laughs> changes 
yeah and the whole bus looks a little bit more strange yeah and then we just removed it and it looked okay but the Paulina said no way I can leave it like that this is cheating and she did this setup and that's how we've got the final shot that is in our showreels now thank you so much guys for watching as always i'm putting all my project files on patreon so if you will subscribe to my patreon you will get all the project files for all the classes i've done and for all the classes i will do in the future so thank you so much for watching my name is kirill pleshakov have a nice day I will see you in the next class. Goodbye.